Thanks for that in the studio, guys. I'm here in the beautiful MC. I'm here to interview some students about their experiences with Rexburg Housing and see how that's gone. My name is Gabriel Hale. My name is Camille Day. My name is Miriam Tenzio. My name is Eli Corey. So my name is Mitchell Bauer. Hey, okay, I'm Bryn Larson. Uh, my name is Bryce Evans. My name is Emma Mako. I gotta say, the worst experience was when I walked, right, walked into my brand, or into my, my apartment that I paid, it was the cheapest of the cheap, and it was like, wow, I paid for what I got. When the dishes pile up and they just keep being stacked higher. Um, my worst experience was last year. I just left the things there uh, during the break, and when I, got, when I got back, there were like a couple of things that were like lost. Um, I say my worst experience with housing in Regsburg is probably having a roommate that snores really loud. Oh, one time um, the pipes froze and so the ceiling collapsed. Luckily no one was injured. With my current couple weeks being here, I have uh, the worst experience I've had is uh, for about, um, about half a day we've had no water in my apartment one time. so. My worst experience with housing is probably around 2020 um, when we were locked up. <laughs> yeah, um, my specific complex wouldn't let us do much or even see our FHE, so that was really sad. <laughs> so my worst experiencing experience with Rexburg Housing is probably when there was an electrical failure in upper apartment room and we uh, there ended up being a fire and at the same time a simultaneous water pipe break and so there was like a fire and water situation going on and so we had to move out of the apartment for a few weeks. When I am spending time with my roommates and we're hanging out together. The amenities washroom dryers in the apartments and having you know, multiple fridges and stuff in some apartments. And I think the best experience, uh, probably my roommate. They were like super good roommates. Um, I feel like when you're really close with your roommates, it makes it easier to communicate. And so like you don't have problems with um, dishes or like cleaning and stuff like that. Also having your own room is pretty nice. Make it, make it your space, take responsibility for it. Like, make it how you want it, clean it up. Uh, my advice to people would be to try to room with people that they know. Yeah, so um, if you're ever in a bad situation with your roommate or your housing situation, all I recommend is that you try to find a way to talk to your roommates. Um, I mean, they're people too, and like we all have our own issues, so like if you're able to just understand each other, sit down, you know, talk it out and you should be able to work through those problems. Um, I would say probably reach out because we're all experiencing something and you just never really know what someone's going through. So I would say just reach out and then just serve. Um, my advice is always to go meet people. I know that's so <laughs> like, kind of cliche, but Talking to your roommates or even going up to a random person and asking them how their day is, it just makes a huge difference. Definitely finding an apartment complex that you feel comfortable being in, living in, um, doing homework in, that you can call home. Um, to help with that, uh, you know, just get moved in right away. Don't s s live out of the suitcase for the entire semester. Um, make it feel like home and you'll be able to enjoy the spirit more along with keeping your apartment clean. What wonderful advice, and I'm glad I have it. Um, back to you guys in the studio.